Hello. Hello and welcome to the 67th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Um, thank you. You, uh, you probably know me as the creator of The Office. <laughs> no, you don't, do you? You think Steve Carell did it all? Oh, he's brilliant, isn't he, Steve Carell? <laughs> he's amazing as the bumbling office manager. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> Let's pay... <laughs> Let's pay him hundreds of millions of dollars and put him in every movie. If you can't be bothered to go to the cinema to see Steve in action, then um, just watch him every Thursday here on NBC. <laughs> or if you think that particular version of the show has jumped the shark a little bit, um, <laughs> this is what some of the forums are saying, then um, watch the original Fridays <laughs> on Adult Swim. <laughs> or get the box set, that's still available. So, um, <laughs> Just, just, just 12 episodes in a special. Quality, not quantity, that's what, <laughs> that's what counts. I, uh, so, uh, go and get that. Um, I will be making the most of this opportunity. I'm not used to these sort of viewing figures. <laughs> Let's face it, nor's NBC. So... <laughs> on a serious note, just looking at all the faces here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um, <laughs> you all look great. I've had a little bit of work done. I've had cheek implants. Uh, they put them there, which is annoying. <laughs> and I, uh, I've had a penis reduction. <laughs> Just got the one now. That's enough. Uh, and, and it is very tiny. <laughs> But so are my hands, so when I'm holding it, it looks pretty big. <laughs> and let's face it, I usually am holding it. Um, <laughs> I wish I was doing that now instead of this, to be honest. But let's... <laughs> it is an honour to be here um, in a room full of what I consider to be the most important people on the planet. Actors. <laughs> they're just... They're just better than ordinary people, aren't they? That's, no, they're, 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 we all know that. Um, imagine a world without actors. Oh, God, it doesn't bear thinking about it. Imagine if they ever went on strike. Oh, what would we do? You couldn't replace them. You couldn't replace them with any other profession, lawyers or doctors. Can you imagine a real surgeon doing what Hugh Laurie does in-house? It would be pathetic. <laughs> He'd be all over the place. We'd go, oh, where do I stand? How's my American accent? What, what's my lines? You know, Hugh with the aid of coaches that can eventually learn his lines while saving lives. He's a genius. <laughs> How could you replace Kiefer Sutherland in 24? I'd love to see a real anti-terrorist agent try and defuse a bomb in a busy train station in one hour. <laughs> Some of those scenes, by the way, where Kiefer grabs someone and beats them to a pulp, they weren't even in the script. Um, <laughs> The director just said, keep rolling, we'll work it into them. <laughs> but actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood, they are loved the world over, because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, OK, and you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better, OK? You could be a little, a little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money, but you, get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie, and you think, oh, Mummy! <laughs> Let's get on with it before NBC replaced me with Jay Leno. Um, <laughs> please welcome one of the stars of Nine, Nicole Kidman. Well, it's going well, isn't it? We've had, uh, we've seen some worthy winners and some not so worthy ones. Let's be no. <laughs> I'm not going to mention them now, am I? I'll be doing that on my blog at rickygervais.com. I've had thousands of emails over the past few days saying, why, oh why, was the invention of lying not nominated? I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe the DVD will win an award. That's out Tuesday at Walmart. <laughs> 
So go and buy that. Um, one thing that can't be bought is a Golden Globe. Officially. <laughs> I'm not going to do this again anyway. Um, <laughs> but if you were <laughs> to buy one, the man to see would be Philip Burke. <laughs> to... <laughs> to introduce him, although I already have, this seems rather pointless, but she's here now. Ladies and gentlemen, from Desperate Housewives, Felicity Huffman. <laughs> Um, the serious bit now. Um, the Golden Globes is shown all over the world. It is oblivious to colour or creed. It doesn't just celebrate talent, it celebrates difference. It crushes prejudice and stereotype. One stereotype I hate is that all Irishmen are just drunk, sweary hell raisers. <laughs> Please welcome Colin Farrell. <laughs> Um, this next category is a bit of a downer, to be honest. It's for writing. Um, <laughs> we all know writers get way too much credit in Hollywood. Um, <laughs> and that's due to the generosity of actors sometimes mentioning them. Do you know what I mean? But what would writers do without actors? I don't want to keep going on about actors, but they're the most important ones, OK? <laughs> it's not the words you say, it's how good you look when you're saying them. That everyone knows that. And the, the great thing about actors is they want to keep moving forward. They're chameleons, ever-changing and leaving the past behind. Please welcome Rachel off friends and that bloke from 300. <laughs> Hello. Calm down. Calm down. We're on the home straight. The next presenter is an award-winning actress with special powers. In Die Another Day, she used her powers of seduction to win over James Bond. In X-Men, she used her powers to control the elements. In Catwoman, she used the power of being able to wash herself all over. And <laughs> she's the paw for behind the ear. It's brilliant. Please welcome the very clean Halle Berry. How are you doing, all right? <laughs> Cheers. Um, I've had a couple. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, listen up. Um, I haven't offended anyone. I didn't mean... It's not my fault. There's a lot of powerful people here, so if I said... It's... <laughs> Honestly, I like a drink as much as the next man. <laughs> Unless the next man is Mel Gibson. <laughs> The next presenter is not only one of uh, Hollywood's best actors, he's also one of the coolest men in the world. I haven't got a, a bad word to say about him, mostly because he's got arms as big as my legs. Please welcome the amazing Mickey Rourke. Well, um, that's it. I've, we've got about... Eight seconds, so thank you so much. Well done to all the winners. And if I could have one wish, it would be peace on Earth. No, can I change that? I want everyone to watch the Ricky Gervais show on HBO that starts the 19th of February. Good night. <laughs> thank you. Hello. And hello. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. <laughs> or as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. 
Wow. Whoa. So, let's get this straight. What he did was, he, uh, he picked up a porn star, um, paid her to have dinner with him, uh, introduced her to his ex-wife, as you do, uh, <laughs> Uh, went to a hotel, uh, got, got drunk, got naked, trashed the place while she was locked in a cupboard. And uh, <laughs> that was a Monday. What, what did he do New Year's Eve? <laughs> anyway, welcome. The Golden Globes is a celebration of the best in TV and movies over the last year, voted for by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. It was a big year for 3D movies, Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. Um, I, I feel bad about that joke. I, no, no, I'll tell you why. I'm jumping on the bandwagon, because I haven't even seen The Tourist. <laughs> Who has? Um, but, no, it must be good, because it's nominated. So shut up, OK? <laughs> and I'd like to quash this ridiculous rumour going round that the only reason The Tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> no. All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. <laughs> there were a lot of big films that didn't get nominated this year. Nothing for Sex in the City 2. Um, no, I was sure the Golden Globe for special effects would go to the team that airbrushed that poster. Um, <laughs> well, great job. Girls, we know how old you are. I saw one of you in an episode of Bonanza. <laughs> also not nominated, I love you Philip Morris, um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist then. Um, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Probably. My lawyers helped me with the wording of that joke. <laughs> They're not here. Okay. <laughs> There's. Ah!